You may notice Aptera looks a little different, and that's because it was inspired by science and nature, and in part validated by NASA in 2006. It looks this way because we designed this vehicle to be the most efficient one in the world. It has less drag than any other EV on the market, and that's what enables it to go up to 1,000 miles. Aptera has three wheels, and the motors are actually in the wheel. This gives us greater control and stability. Wheel motors are very durable. They've been tested in mud, snow, ice, sand, and they offer great longevity and long-term performance. This vehicle here, Soul, is a front-wheel drive vehicle. It has a motor in each of the front wheels, two-wheel drive. Uh, it is fast enough to do zero to 60 in about five and a half seconds. Our other vehicle, Alpha One Noir, is an all-wheel drive with a motor in every wheel, and it does zero to 60 in about three and a half seconds. One of the interesting things about Aptera is that it's a solar electric vehicle. It has solar panels on the hood, the dash, the roof, and the rear, and it produces a peak power of about 700 watts. Over the period of a day, that's enough to drive people over 40 miles, I think 46 miles in some locations. Uh, that's one of the, the key differentiators of Aptera and versus a regular vehicle, electric vehicle. Another key differentiator in the Aptera solar electric vehicle is its composite body structure. It's lighter and stronger than steel and very durable. One of the things people ask about a lot is the interior. As you can see, it's actually quite roomy on the inside. Most people are not expecting that. They're expecting a small space, but this is, this is quite comfortable and quite large. One of the changes that we're doing for Beta is we're moving this whole section out about 50 millimeters, about two inches. And we're dropping the seat another inch, inch and a half, and the structure below it as well. So that's gonna be easier to get in and out, but it's also gonna give tall guys and gals a lot more headroom and a lot more comfort. This interior is coast, and it has the blue stitching to remind us of our California roots. The Aptera has a lot of cargo space. In production, there's a small flap that connects here in the seat and extends the floor, so when you're camping, you can really stretch out uh, a long distance. There's also enough room to put your band equipment, groceries, or anything else for that matter, maybe a golden doodle. Another interesting feature in the Aptera is the Energy Tipster part of the UI, which lets you decide what things you want to turn on and off to increase your range. For example, I could turn off seat heating and go another 15 miles and you see the radius expand. You could turn off the fans and go another 10 miles, or full regen and go another 20 miles. Each time you can dynamically see how the vehicle's range increases. One more thing about the interior of the, of the Aptera is the cooling system. It's not actually in the interior, but it's just below us in the belly pan. It's a radiator, but it's on the skin. So as air flows over the belly of the Aptera, it removes all of the heat versus a regular radiator where the air flows through it. So that means it's lighter weight and lower drag and more efficient, which gives us more miles range. I hope you like this tour. There's more coming up ahead with the unveiling of our third vehicle, Luna, so please stay tuned.